so there were two comments about when you started it. For, first, and when it would end. First of all, when you started it, did you envision it going on for this long? And second of all, I've seen it described as the last of the series, and I feel this separation kind of anxiety. I, I don't, I, it should be just the next episode rather than the last episode. So I'm curious about your perspective when it began and your perspective now as apparently it is ending. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know how Michael feels, but I, I definitely thought that we would continue it on. Again, I, I was kind of influenced by Michael Apted and you know, he could do it, so could we, and I think he was on 49 Up or something like that at that time. So, um, so and uh, as I say, what, whether it's, I mean, right now we plan that it, it's the last, but that's very sad, and you never can really um, know what's happening. We felt that it was time to do another episode now because when we left these students in the last episode, I don't know if any of you saw it, it, it was really kind of sad because th they were, for the most part, not in a good place. And um, we did those in a different way. We actually did each student separately. And Michael and I had many, many arguments, no, not arguments, discussions <laughs> <laughs> about it. We could probably still go and discuss it about whether a more chronological um, approach was better than a biographical approach. I mean, that's actually been one of the most, I mean, this is, I, I'm proud of this and proud of Michael because I, this is an amazingly technical feat of filmmaking. I mean, just how to put this damn thing together. I mean, we're pulling our hair out. And, you know, I still don't know whether we did it the best way. Um, we did it a way, and it does seem to work. And how many hours should it be? And, I mean, just the, the discussion and the thinking and the doing it and undoing it is, uh, is amazing. So we're a little exhausted, actually. <laughs> I don't know, Michael, what, what do you think? No, I, I think um, actually the very first episode, it had a very difficult birth, the series, oh, because um, the very first program is one that I hope actually never gets uh, released on cassette again. <laughs> it, it really was a, a real, um, uh, you know, designed by a committee because we, I, I think, had wanted to try and make an observational film with no commentary. Um, but because there was a, 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 an air date that we had to meet, um, the first year of medical school simply did not provide us with enough sequences to f really fill that, that R. And so the solution was to bring in a lot of talking heads, and um, some of them were quite interesting talking heads, but the film had no integrity, and it really did not reflect what I think either Paul or and I hoped for, and it was, um, but we had to get something on the air. But it was and really good fodder for the second year medical student <laughs> show. Yes. <laughs> yes, it really yes. was. Um, <laughs> So, I, but I think it did grow from strength to strength, and um, as I say, it was uh, it was partially a lot of it was serendipity, but it was I think it was just a, um, I think we just uh, established a working relationship, and in the end, I think that was the strength of the film was was really the trust of the participants, the, hopefully the mutual trust that that, that they would be treated. Uh, in a, in a way that was not uh, going to be a, a short-term hatchet job. <laughs> and, and I, I, I also uh, can think I just say something sure. about the camera? P ca uh, do you say cameramen? Is that the right word? Or the the people, people who yeah. like walked around with yeah. the sound and cameras, of which I see Steve in the back, and because they really, you know, sometimes like Michael or Julia or some of the other people who Peter had to like duck out of the way, and it would just be the camera and the sound people, and they were really very. I mean, they they really really knew how to work well, and they are. Uh, an un unseen force. That so I we think have the, makes the cameraman difference. here, Stephen McCarthy, who's one of our fantastic cameramen, Nova, <laughs> and and also Peter Frumpkin and Julia Cord, who were I think <laughs> associate producers on the series. Is, is there anyone else that I'm missing? And because this took place such a, over such a long period of time, but another thing is I, I actually think this two hours is the best, and. Um, and I, I, I don't think that's necessarily because of our skill. I think that it's the best because it has a real dramatic arc to it. That you, we, you start off with and you, you have a bunch of kids. And they kind of are who they are and they're nervous and cute and their problems are problems but they're not that serious yet. And then they go into periods of really intense, intense pain 
just intense. And then they get lost in the wilderness for a long time, and they don't know what they want to be when they grow up, but they don't want to be what they're doing now. And now I feel, I mean, I, I like um, movies with a happy ending. <laughs> and I think for the most part, this is, this is a show with a happy ending, because I think that the vast majority of our, um, of our students have their lives together, both professionally and personally, and that we're leaving them in a really good place. And so that's why I feel that maybe this should be the end, because, um, because I, they are incredibly interesting people who really opened up to us. People start to, to get more guarded as they get older. I, I'm not sure that they would say things of that nature again or in 10 years, and we did have a harder time on this shoot not necessarily with, with Jay. Well, Jay, well, we had a hard time all the time. <laughs> but, um, or Jane. But with some of the others who I don't think they were being intentionally guarded. I just think that's, that's the natural tendency of human beings not to spill their guts when they're 40 years old anymore the way they did when they were 32. So I, I think, and I think when you see the whole thing, you'll see that um, when you get to the end, you think, wow, you know, you're so happy that they kind of came out of the wilderness and got to a place that's important for themselves and for society. That, you know, kind of why mess it up with the reality of life? <laughs>